What's up, y'all? Holy shit here. Today we're going to talk about El Nada Ha. El Nada Ha. El Nada Ha. El Nada Ha. We're actually just going to call her Nadine. So, let's talk about who she is, what she does, and why I like her. So, she's part of the Moon family. Uh, this She gets a 10% chance, or if there's another family member, a 20% chance to cast negative 24% defense and 98 water damage over two turns on an enemy who deals special skill damage to this character. If she gets defeated, it's 50 to 75% chance. Uh, so yeah, it really don't bank bank on that too much. Um, and even if it happens, it's really not going to do a whole lot. Um, yeah. And they could really like kind of simmer down how long this explanation is. I feel like they can cut it in half and still get the point across. But anyhow, uh, she is limit broken, uh, fast mana, a wizard. Actually, I like the wizard, uh, 25% chance to deal plus 15 extra damage per each active buff enemies have for normal and special skills. So yeah, that could definitely add up um, collectively. She's at 1,025 attack, 859 defense, 1,660 hit points. Attack is extremely high. Uh, hit points are respectable. And if you're running her like uh, they have her, which is at a wing, 859 defense, plenty. Um, what does she do? Her ability is 305 damage to target and nearby enemies. I really don't like characters that only hit three, because I feel like on, on when they're on defense, they always seem to hit, you know, two most of the time. Sometimes you get lucky in three if you're ever playing autoplay and you're going against a map, and then when you only see them hit two, you're just kind of like, oh, you know, it's, it's discouraging because you know that's what's happening when you have that character on defense. I think that the if, it, if they hit three characters, they should always hit a minimum of three characters unless the enemy, you know, they only have two left and there's only two to hit. But I feel like they should change that so that three always get hit. You just don't know what side it's going to be on, whether it's the right or left. Uh, but this is uh, this is why I really like this character. Actually, let me fin finish talking about uh, this kind of like special skill that I guess it's okay if you're forgettable and you, you haven't seen her before. But um, the target and nearby enemies are immune to new status effect buffs for three turns and receive 200 damage for each attempted buff. So basically, if you just don't pay attention to reading anything, and then you're just gonna end up getting hit for uh, 200 damage if you keep on trying to like you know buff your characters with defense or what have you. So I would say if you're still healing, you heal them up, and they're gonna take away 200 of that healing. Big deal, you know. Your heal should be well more than 200 uh, anyway. So, but be, keep keep in mind that uh, could total 600. So, if you're on the brink of almost dying, be mindful of that. Uh, so this is really why I like this character is because there's a 50% chance to perform, uh, not the 70% the damage to all enemies. I think that's kind of weak. Uh, it generally hits, let's say, maybe 50 to all the enemies. Uh, but the fact that she dispels the latest dispellable buff from all enemies, to me, is kind of is kind of cool because she's essentially like, like a dispeller. Um, and a 50% chance... I mean, that's quite high, so uh, there's a good chance it's going to, ha you know, happen. Um, and, you know, if they have, like, uh, defense up or something like that, you know, she could can, she can bring it down. Uh, or if they're healing, um, you know, over, like, three turns or what have you, you know, she can, she can stop that. So, um, you know, she goes off a couple of times, she gets rid of a couple buffs. So I thought that was quite neat. Um, so... Yeah, I think she's definitely, I mean, you can't sleep on, sleep on her because, uh, you know, she's going to end up hitting you in ways that you're not familiar with. So when you're going against a new character and you haven't seen him, you know, you probably kind of want to read up what's going on here. So this was my attempt to kind of attack her and, um, you know, it didn't, didn't pan out well. So, uh, but I got to see what I wanted to see and uh, she definitely dispels um, and... Yeah, it's, I mean, I had the immune uh, status up, and she basically took that away from, uh, you know, a couple of the characters, so it definitely works. She definitely hits hard, um, you know, I would say offensively. Uh, she probably gets like a, 
I give her probably A to A minus because you're using her the way you want to use her. She's definitely lethal and hits hard. Um, but uh, let's just tell you like another secret about um, uh, Nadine here. So that that name actually is an Egyptian legend, female spirit who calls men to the Nile, most likely to their death or disappearance. So make sure when you take her, uh, she's going against all dudes. Because if she's going against all dudes, most likely you're going to win and they're not going to come back. I mean, that's basically an omen. So make sure you have her on your team and don't have her on a team with uh, you know other dudes. Make sure you're running her with all female characters because you want to do this right. You want the synergy. You want to you know make all those dudes disappear You know when you're attacking whoever you're attacking. So... Yeah, she's tough character, definitely. Uh, I like the fact that she's fast mana. Um, and, I mean, I, there's some other wizards uh, that I'd probably prefer, but, you know, she's got the new factor, so it's kind of cool. What do you guys think about her? I mean, do you think, uh, have you have y'all faced her? Because I'm thinking uh, this is the first time I've seen her, uh, going up against her. You know, anybody that, you know, get, gives me a repel, I usually like to give them a, a decent rating. Because, uh, you know me, I try not to lose, but sometimes you lose to show the demo, so that's what happens. Um, probably going to give her, I'll say on on defense, I'm going to give her an A-. minus. Um, I probably didn't bring the right uh, setup to kind of, uh, you know, go. I don't know, maybe my setup was fine. But uh, uh, the first round going against this uh, character uh, obviously defeated me, so did pretty well. Um, offensively though, man, I, I probably give him a solid A. Uh, yeah, solid, definitely a solid A. Uh, is she lacking anything? Uh, I, you know, I mean, she just straight up hits like three characters, so, uh, I would say if, if anything, um, you know, she's well-rounded and she's probably fun to use, so you get her i definitely uh, give her a chance and upper and uh she'd probably be uh, really synergetic with uh maybe like francine that does like you know defense down a blue something like that so anyway that's uh that's it for today y'all uh i'll catch you on the next one all right peace